out this first wave of snow and ice caused problems throughout Middle Tennessee. Let's go to News Channel 5's John Cole Newland, who's live in Mount Juliet out east. And John Cole travel there was tricky at times. It was tricky at times, Rory, but thankfully most everyone heeded the really good advice to stay off the roadways. Right now I'm standing in front of the intersection of Adams Lane and Mount Juliet Road. You can see behind me the roads are pretty clear and traffic is moving smoothly. Of course, it wasn't all work and roads today. Here's a look at Mount Juliet's snow day. Yeah, the main roads are uh, clear. As folks in Middle Tennessee awoke to the first snow of the year and the decision whether to brave the roads or not, Come out of halfway. I've been retired. Mount Juliet resident Michael C. Smith began his day with a different concern. Wait till all this gets cleared out and then I just drive on down and get some meat. Let me start though. I know I hope it'll start. <laughs> but first he has to get through this layer of ice. We're struggling here, but we got it going. While inconvenient, the ice only slowed him down. He recalls last February. Oh, this is nothing compared to that. I mean, this is a piece of cake so far. The road crews, however, feel a bit differently. Just been trying to keep up for, for the breakdown, and you no, know, we have breakdowns too. You have to get them back up. Once the truck hits the halfway point, they're back here filling it up again. Right out, you get in trouble. You just spin like all the rest of them do. So we try to keep a little weight on the truck. Out of cowboy. But it's not all work in Mount Juliet. Yeah, I got woken up with uh, shouts of jubilee right on top of my chest. We're going to play. For its smallest residents, the snow was a welcome sight. Uh, it's that snow. While for others... So we may be back later. We have to replenish the hot chocolate. <laughs> just a small hindrance. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of be open. Some restaurant going to be open. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Now, the Mount Juliet Police Department is encouraging everyone to stay off the roads because the secondary roads and those throughout the neighborhoods definitely can still be slick. Granted, the main roads are pretty clear right now. I do want to mention, however, Wilson County Schools is out tomorrow. So another fun snow day or at home day for all these kids. Live in Mount Juliet, I'm John Cole Newland, News Channel 5.